what is up guys so today we're going to take a look at an awesome tweak called ios live the developer is actually a good friend of mine known as green snow and you can find ios live in the model my i repo now green snow has made some awesome tweaks in the past like slider pro and customized facebook but ios live gets better giving you more awesome animations for your lock screen springboard and even your task switcher you see I have a cool animation where it sucks my screen towards the middle and then swiping pages gives me this cool peel effect as well. All this is possible with iOS Life. After installing we simply open up the settings and take a look into iOS Life settings. We have lock screen and springboard options. Simply by tapping on it we have plenty of animations options to choose from. Let's go ahead and go up here and choose uh, cube left. So we simply lock our device and then turn it back on, we get the cube left animation which is pretty cool. Now if we go back, we have also a slider option where you can actually slide left or right to change the speed of the animation. By sliding it all the way to the right as you see here, we get a slower animation and by simply sliding all the way to the left, of course you guessed it, you get a faster animation. So let's go ahead and try a few other animations real quick. Let's try out Ripple, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's try Page Curl Left, and here's uh, Flip here. So as you see there, they are pretty cool animations to set as your lock screen animations. So let's go ahead and take a look at the springboard settings. Now we have plenty of options here to change as you see here. Let's go up here and go to Load Switcher. So right now I have mine set to Flip. Now if we activate our task switcher, we get this flip animation down here, which is pretty cool. Now let's try cube left. Pretty cool, huh? We also have sliders here to change the animation speed as well. So you can mess with that and set it to your liking. Here in the begin edit mode, we have the option to change the animation of when you set your apps into wiggle mode. And as you see here, I have these cool animations when you hold down on the app to go into wiggle mode. Now let's go ahead and go into stop edit mode and as you've probably guessed it is going to be when you actually stop from wiggle mode. So when you do go into wiggle mode you actually just hit the home button and then it will exit out of that and that is when this animation comes to play. And then going down we have move page which allows you to change the animation when you're going left and right from page to page on your app task switcher. Now moving down the list we have the other springboard settings. Receive app badge allows you to change the animation when holding down on the app icon or simply by pressing on it which is pretty cool. I have the cube right animation here. And here is a page curl left animation. Going down to tap on empty space we have another cool animation when tapping of course on an empty space on your springboard. Here I'm messing with the ripple animation. I really like this one. This is probably the best one out of all those whenever you're doing this uh, tap on empty space animation. Lastly we have springboard swipe. Now this allows you to change the animation when flipping pages as you probably saw in the beginning of the video I had the page curl right and now let's go ahead and try suck middle and that, that just sounds weird all the time. <laughs> now going back into the main settings of iOS Life, it has things like news updates slash wish list, which basically gives you updates from Green Snow. He actually updates this. It's basically like his news feed of what's coming up next and all that on the next update and stuff like that. And then we also have reset to default settings, which gives you the option to fully reset iOS Live to default settings of course and I see here I have all these back to how it normally was. Below that we have check for updates option which is pretty nice because when Green Snow does release a future update for iOS Live you can actually just check it right here and instead of actually going to Cydia and updating just like that you simply tap on this and it will look for an update and then it will update it for you. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this video. You can find this awesome tweak in Cydia from the Mon My iRepo. 
it actually comes with a free trial to get a hands-on experience for yourself and if you do want the full license it is only three dollars which is not bad because this tweak actually it feels like it's a combination of several other tweaks all in one so instead of spending all those dollars or whatever it is spend just three bucks and then you'll get this so totally check this tweak out guys and let me know what you think in the comment section below and as always give this video a thumbs up to show me that you liked it and also for any questions or comments leave that in the comment section below as well and for future updates go ahead and follow me on Twitter and or on Facebook I'll leave the links down below for that and if you feel like being awesome go ahead and hit that subscribe button to be notified when I come out with my next video anyways guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you all on the next one alright peace